Uh, Frank, we of course heard the Chelsea supporters chanting Thomas Tuchel's name uh, in the second half there. With hindsight, was it a mistake to let him go when they did? The thing is that you can, you can chant uh, Thomas Tuchel, but don't forget that the main, all the players that uh, Craig just mentioned have been bought under him. And you could question the recruitment uh, department at Chelsea for, for years now. If you compare with, for, for what you see at uh, Arsenal, for example, we came back from, from hell, I have to say, uh, but back within like three years with Arteta, with a good, a good selection of players that they wanted to buy, uh, City, what they do every time, um, you, you have a result of a bad recruitment. So it's nice to, uh, to, to chant uh, Thomas Tuchel, but the way that at the end Thomas Tuchel was playing was also boring, where we didn't get anything, it was all about possession, but it's like... It's like Graham Potter, it's why he's being criticised. It didn't, didn't change. Maybe he couldn't, but he didn't change anything. But Tuchel as well. Let's not act like Tuchel was perfect. He's part of the reason why we're in this mess ourselves. Him deciding that it's okay to give Asby um, 180k a week on a three-year contract, meaning that we didn't prioritise wing-back depth, meaning we had to overplay Reese James again and get him injured. Deciding that we didn't need the midfielder until literally deadline day. Like Tuchel is just as culpable as everybody else. But no one will say it because the same old tired argument. We won Chelsea the Champions League. Get over it. Get yeah. over the Champions League win. We aren't champions of Europe anymore. I wish we were. I love that chant. But we're not. We aren't yeah. anymore. And a lot has changed since then. That midfielder's got older, they've fallen into a decline, that attack has got worse, our defence, um, we got rid of two out of the three starting centre-backs for free. A lot's changed. And today, the first half, we saw uh, Kepa getting the ball for the, for the six yards, ball, six yards uh, kick and trying to play in the 16-yard box like... You want to get the position of the ball. You know that at some point it's going to go bad and you're going to lose the ball. And you are in front of your TV you say, what the hell is going on right now? What they are trying to do against Manchester City? You don't know City at all? You're not scared of them? What, what's wrong with you? I swear, give, him, give me the team. Allah will choose warriors. I'm not going to choose talent because talent is on top of what of the, the spirit that you have to have. But it's not talent first and play well first, and then maybe run and maybe get the spirit. No, it doesn't work. Football never worked like that. Italians were experts of that, where they, they try to defend well first before getting the talent on top of it. But right now, we see nothing. And we saw nothing for, like, almost all year with Tuchel. So it's nice to sing Tuchel, Tuchel, but that's not a result uh, that you have to have. You have to find somebody who can bring something different to Chelsea, a more vertical game, more spiritual game, where... It's like the players are never in danger. And when a player is not in danger because of the competition, because of the pressure that the fans or the, the club can make on them, it's, they feel easy. They so, feel comfortable. And that's not a life of football players. Completely agree. And the penny won't drop for a lot of these fans until they get over the Champions League win because that is starting to hold us back even in itself. Because the amount of excuses... And, and mental gymnastics that I see for some of our players, plus, and plus, and plus the that. and plus the players that were <laughs> that the players that were are still here now are playing nowhere near the level they were playing in that run. So all those things combined make that. But we won the Champions League rhetoric utter nonsense because it just it's not it's not the same situation. So it's not comparable at all. What's comparable is our league form. And the league form under Tuchel was dire, and the league form is still dire now. The league form hasn't suddenly become shit because Pot has taken over. It's been a problem for years and years now, and that's a number of issues. It's constantly changing the manager. It's the managers that come in, then picking up two or three worths managers, uh, sorry, uh, squads and players of previous managers, which is not conducive to building a team at all. And then, you know, people are moaning, oh, nothing's changed. Well, of course nothing's changed because no one's ever given the time to try and implement any change. To, to think that a two to three year rebuild, which is probably what we're looking at here, let's make no mistake about it, is to be completed in two months is ridiculous. 
and then all right so these guys get what they, they these fans get their wish and put us sacked who comes in and then we're going to be having this same conversation less than one season later so what 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 do you want you either you know you've got to you stop being spoiled the thing about that is